So today we will talk about hordeolum. It has two basic types, hordeolum externum and hordeolum internum. I have divided them in terms of their definition, etiology, clinical features, complications, and treatment. Talking about hordeolum externum, otherwise known as stye, it is defined as an acute infection of the lash follicle and the glands of Zs and mole. Now these two glands are the anatomical part of the eyelid. Talking about hordeolum internum, hordeolum internum is the acute superlative infection of the meibomian glands. So if the infection occurs in the glands of Zs and mole, it will be hordeolum externum. And if that infection occur in the meibomian gland, that will be hordeolum internum. As it is an infection, they have an overlap in their etiology in that they are both caused by Staphylococcus aureus. In terms of clinical features, the differentiating point between these two is the tenderness. Tenderness and pain is more marked in hordeolum internum as compared to hordeolum externum, which also presents with same clinical features that include pain, tenderness, edema, and swelling of the eyelid. So further talking about the complications, they include preceptal cellulitis, orbital cellulitis, and cavernous sinus thrombosis. Both hordeolum externum and internum are capable of causing these complications. In terms of their treatment, we have an overlap that this treatment can be used for both hordeolum internum as well as externum and they include systemic antibiotics, analgesics because there is marked tenderness and pain, and topical antibiotic drops, warm compressors, and if there has developed some pus, evacuation of pus. Now let me show you a diagram and let me compare and contrast hordeolum with clesion as well so that we can have a much better understanding about these two most common pathologies of eyelid. Now as you could see in this cartoonic image taken from Google that hordeolum is the infection of the glands of the eyelid whereas clesion is defined as chronic inflammation that results from the blockage of the meibomian glands. So clesion is actually inflammation and hordeolum is the infection. So when that inflammation occurs in the meibomian gland that will be clesion and in terms of hordeolum when the infection occurs in the glands of Zs and mole it will be hordeolum externum and when that infection occurs in meibomian gland uh, then it will be hordeolum internum. So now we have three things differentiated in terms of two broad terms inflammation and infection. So I hope now you have a much better understanding and differentiation between these two. So coming to the table hordeolum is caused by staphylococcus infection whereas clesion is lipogranulomatous inflammation of the meibomian gland. I have talked about these two things separately. So hordeolum externum is when this infection occurs in the glands of Zs and mole and internum when it occurs in meibomian gland. Now redness is more marked, tenderness is more marked in hordeolum, whereas both of these things are absent in clesion. So two things differentiate between clesion and hordeolum. Clesion is an inflammation, Hordeolum is an infection. Hordeolum is more marked with redness and pain, whereas clesion lacks these two. And they have similar plans of management that is possible antibiotics and similar treatment for clesion as well.